Hello, Hello Connections! Connections! Before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and other social media accounts of Nations Connect. Serving you with the right connection! Uso na ulit mag-travel. For sure, maraming excited na umalis and mag -bakasyon. But what if expired na yung passport mo and nandun yung visa mo? How are you going to transfer your visa to your new passport? Today, we will discuss on how to do that. But before anything else, keep in mind connections that if you renew your passport, you need to transfer your valid visa into your new passport before you travel. And this is applicable to a physical visa label or an e-visa. Ano nga ba ang physical visa label at e-visa? So connections, the difference between a physical visa label and an e-visa is that an e-visa is issued via email where you can just print a copy whereas a physical label is like a sticker attached in your passports. This is how it looks like. So Connection Immigration New Zealand recommends that you request an e-visa as it is easier to transfer and there is no application fee. Here are the steps to transfer an e-visa. So number one, submit the following. A certified copy of your old passport, a certified copy of your new passport, and a completed application form for transfer or confirmation of a visa. So unlike the e-visa, transferring a visa label would be a lot more time-consuming. Here are the steps. Number one, submit the following documents. Your old passport or a certified copy, your new passport, completed application form for transfer or confirmation of visa, and a processing fee which is 150 New Zealand dollars. Please be noted connections. If you lost your passport or it was stolen, you should provide a police report showing that the loss was reported. If in any case your old passport was not returned to you with your new passport, you should provide a cover letter with your application stating this. If you change your name, you will need to provide evidence of a name change such as marriage certificate or a deed poll. The next question in your head would probably where and how to send these documents. If you are in New Zealand and you are applying for an e-visa transfer, you can send it to this address. And if you are applying for a physical visa label, you will need to send your documents to this address. Para naman sa mga outside of New Zealand and if you are applying to transfer your e-visa, you can use the certified copies of your passport. You can send your application to your nearest New Zealand visa application center. However, connections, if you are applying for a visa label, you need to include your new passport, completed application form, and a fee with the prepaid courier bag. You can send it to this New Zealand address. Please be noted connection that your application and your passport should not be sent to your local VAC or the Visa Application Center. They do not process the physical label transfer requests. Maaring maibalik lang sa inyo ang inyong passport na walang nagbago, meaning hindi na transfer. Ayan Connection, sana ay natulungan namin kayo sa inyong mga tanong about transferring visa to your new passports. Again, this is Jeff. And this is Clarence. Serving, serving you with the, the right, right connection. connection.